All I got, all I've gone is insane. All I got, all I gone is insane. I push my fingers into my eyes. Hey guys, this is Radar Mario 21. Yes, I'm insanely pissed because Twin Rova made my woman a power slave, and now I'm gonna have to kick their ass and show them. I think they actually killed Nabulu too, so they're in for a prime ass kicking. Let's do this crap. You're calling me a stupid kid? Sacrifice? Oh, hell no. You're going to be my sacrifice for Nabooru. You killed the wrong hot desert chick. You ain't burning crap. You're only burning dinner. You can burn in hell for all I care. Yeah, you're not going to freeze crap. Screw you both. You bitches are going down. Here they are, the twin sorceresses, twin rova, or sorceress sisters, whatever. Basically what Kabiro Gabora said by using her magic against them. What you want to do is hit the ice one with fire spell and hit the fire one with ice spell. I think you have to do this four total times before the end of the first phase. Not terribly difficult, but the camera angle can get a little bitchy. That's your biggest problem. There you go. Burn in hell, you damn bitch. Anyway, cool thing about Twin Rova is they're the main villain of the Oracle games for the Game Boy Color. They're the ones trying to revive Ganondorf, and in Zelda canon, they're Ganondorf's adopted mothers. I guess Hyrule's pretty liberal about same-sex adoption, so right for that. I personally see nothing wrong with it, so good for Hyrule. Come on, bitch. There we go. If I can do this without getting hurt, I'll be thrilled. Because, spoiler, there are two phases to this fight. It'd be kind of boring if all you did was reflect on... Use your shield to reflect. Where are you, damn bitch? Now they're gonna hide from me, great. There we go, I think that's four hits, is that it? Or is it five hits? No, four hits, I was right. Doesn't matter if you two, two, three, one, four, zero, as long as you hit one of them four total times, you're good. So, more duality, they're fusing into a uh, super witch that's flirting with me, weird. Maybe that's why they killed the Buru, because they're hot for me. But again, they're like super old, so no. Not into I'm into older chicks, but not like ancient. Huge difference. Sorry. Basically with this phase, you just gotta absorb the same attack three times in a row. There are three fires, three ice. Automatically fire back at her and then lay into her. Just slash her right in the boobs, because you can. She's like, all nailed over and you can slash her boobs. Probably get hurt like hurt like hell to have uh, someone slash a sword in your breasts, but this bitch deserves it. Yeah, keep hitting me with ice. I like it. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Again, not much to this fight, just patience and making sure you absorb the right spells. There we go, I got a jump attack in. And of course I keep playing into her without taking without her taking damage because the game's like, no, you hit her enough. You gotta do the same crap over and over and over, the whole rinse repeat bull crap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One more fire, please, but it's probably gonna be ice. If it's fire, fire, ice, just avoid the ice. Oh cool, fire, 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 love it. If she breaks up, if she doesn't do three in a row the same thing, just avoid the attack and wait till she does three in a row. Honestly, that's your best course of action. And did I just beat Twin Rover without taking any damage? Damn, I'm smooth. Hell yeah. See, I am good at this game.
you mean fresh? What, you're dead, dumbass. It's like Dragon Ball Z. The difference between being alive and dead is when you're dead, you just have a halo over your head. They're halos. It's Dragon Ball Z World. And you're going to, your asses are going to hell. Not the hoop for infinite users. No, screw that crap. It's hell. It's always funny watching them bicker at each other. Link's just like, what the hell are you two crazy bitches doing? That's creepy, and you won't haunt me, but you'll haunt my spiritual successor in the Link to the Past timeline, because I think that's where the Oracle games come from. And I'm pretty sure, yeah, that's, the Oracle Link's, uh, the Oracle's Link is the same Link from Link to the Past, so, yeah, you're going to haunt that Link, not me. I'm done with you for, or no, I'm not done with you forever, but... Next time I see you, you'll mysteriously be my friend and I'll have to help you. Little Majora's Mask spoilers, but that is what it is. It's not like completely integral to the plot. It's just a part of the game. Still weird, though. It's like uh, having Volvagina as your pet dragon. But back in the Chamber of Farts we go and Ten Bucks says the Sage is Nabooru. Or no, it's going to be that chick that hangs out outside the training ground. No, it's Naburu. Of course it's Naburu. She's the only guru who has a freaking name. Okay. <laughs> she's got the hot hots for me. We know it. We know she's got the hots for Link. And you, you should see how competent the name is a swordsman, baby. What? Yeah, you... You did all right. It's not your fault. Those chicks are just bitches. Yeah, yours is power slave, but whatever. Yeah, I guess it is pretty funny. So what are you going to do? Just sit there and give me well wishes? Because that's what all the other sages do. You're not really going to fight. Yeah, you should just keep telling yourself that. You're not calling me kid. No, no, no. That's right. I'm the damn hero of time. No, I want the promise, please. I don't want your stupid medallion. I want the promise. I'd like to give it to you. I think that's what the promise was. Screw your damn medallion. Don't let Rudo sway you otherwise. But we get the final medallion, a spirit medallion, Wahoo. See? I knew she had the hots for me, and I knew she was going to give me pleasure. We were going to score, but Twin Rova screwed everything up. Yes, you should have. We could have scored. But since we saved the sixth and final sage, more cutscene action. What's up, Raru? Yeah, you can have an awesome party now. Uh, almost. Uh, is it Sheik? It's probably Sheik, because Sheik's always waiting for me. She's, I swear to God, Sheik is freaking stalking me. Okay, well, I can warp back there instantly, so there's that. But before I warp back there, I want to take a little detour, because... I realized my 3DS playthrough that I needed the fire arrows for the final dungeon, so let me go get that crap. And there it is, the fire arrows of awesomeness. Thank God. What would I have ever done without them? Probably would have just had to, you know, give up trying to save Hyrule and... Gan Ganondorf would have had to complete control of the world, and life would have sucked. But thank God we got the fire arrows. Now I can be the true hero and save the world. Hooray for that. And now I'll finally do what Raru wants me to do and go to the Temple of Time, so hold on.
And instead of warping, I just run inside and... Is that you, Sheik? I know it's you. You're the one who's always freaking waiting for me. Don't be so shocked. How can I walk through the doorway and not see you, though? What's up? Hard. Yeah, I figured as much. Yeah, the world's on the brink of destruction, but you have to tell me a story, of course. Oh, cool. I'm not a Sheikah, but you're going to tell me the Sheikah secrets? That's awesome. Uh, okay. Sure. I just want to kick Ganon's ass. So basically, if someone evil enters, it's going to be a crap hole, and if someone good does it, it's going to be great. Okay, cool. You're not telling me anything new yet. Okay, cool. But where's the secret? Oh, crap. Which again, according to Zelda canon in Skyward Sword, Link was one who reunited the Triforce, that they were separate entities, that the three Triforce pieces were separate. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, so it doesn't matter if you only have, if you have an unbalanced heart, you just gotta kill whoever gets in your way. Awesome. Oh good, crazy birthmarks, gotta love it. Yeah, I know that. He basically told me. Raru told me. Oh crap. Okay. Of course not, he wants it all. Those chosen by destiny. Let me guess, one of them's me, because everyone's talking about how great of a badass I am and how I'm destined to save the world. Big shocker. Link's not even shocked either. He's like, yeah, and... Ever since I emerged from the sacred realm, everyone's been kissing my ass left and right. Yeah, who's the mystery, mysterious third person? A seventh sage? You mean a secret shadow puppet master? Crap. What? Oh, crap. Zelda? Seriously, you've been living a double life to yourself? More duality. Gotta love it. Yeah, I know who you are. Yeah, we could have been friends. You could have had beer or some, a beer or something. No, you kept running away from me. Well, there's one way you can forgive me, baby. <laughs> yeah, I know he attacked it. I was there. Yeah, I saw you too. I was there. The white Bronco. And I think I had the Deku Shield at the time. Pretty sure I was going to Deku Shield. Yeah, of course, because trust some guy you've known for 20 minutes. That's always a great way to go. Yeah, well, you were wrong because you're a freaking idiot. What, that he snuck in? Yeah, I know, it sucked. 
Well, gee, the Master Sword's not gonna let a kid carry it. Ryu told me this. Okay. So the Demon King Finn Balor. Unfortunate coincidence. That's the only a slight understatement. Seven years he waited for me. Damn. You're crazy. I don't think even Malon remembered me. Damn right I am. Okay. Now, why can't I just kick his ass and, like, you know, chop his head off instead of doing all this elaborate crap for him to escape? Ah, uh, no, that's not going to happen. Yeah, fine, I'll protect you. Oh, that's awesome. You know, give me a weapon, too. See, that's why I like Zelda. Zelda's like, Wesley, you need to protect me, but... I don't expect you to do it all on your own. Here's a badass weapon. The arrow, the light arrows. So I'm like, okay, cool, you know. You're not giving me unrealistic expectations. It would be like if Princess Peach said, Mario, please help me. And by the way, here's a badass hammer suit that you can go chuck hammers at all the Goombas and Koopas and Piranha Plants and crap that can kill boos and kill thwomps. It'll make your quest to protect me a lot easier. And Mario will probably be like, yeah, that's awesome. The light of justice will destroy evil. Awesome. The smite evil. The bane of evil's existence. But of course, Zelda, you had to yak, yak, yak. And guess who's here? Well, you were yakking for about 20 freaking minutes. You gave him plenty of opportunity. Try bashing that crystal with your sword, Link. She's not a traitor. Long. Yeah, long enough to tell a freaking long-ass story. Did Zelda just have a seizure? Link, use your freaking sword! It's too late now. Now she's floating away. You'll never see her again. Blah, 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 blah. You don't have it yet. Yeah, well, you gotta get through me first, a-hole. you damn right I will. <laughs> Screw you, Ganondorf. I'm coming to kick your ass. Next time on Let's Play Ocarina of Time, we're gonna go Ganon's castle and kick his ass. See you then. Oh, crap. Quick, quick side note, just a couple things I want to take care of. First, here in the drawbridge area of the castle town, where we got all those rupees as child link. Let's visit this cheery fellow. Okay. Uh, you're creepily coming on me. I don't like that. Uh, yeah, how did you know? Okay. Uh, thanks, I guess. The ghost shop, huh? Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, that's weird as hell, but whatever, blah, blah, blah. Pose, I got one of them. They're emo, they're dead emo people. Okay, cool. I have a Poe. I need to stir empty bottle for something else, so there's that. Yes, I did. It's a big po worth a hundred ru or fifty rupees, whatever. And I get points on my card. Uh, I get a special prize if I get a thousand points, i.e., uh, getting all ten big pos. But that's it. I'm just going to Kakariko Village to get green potion. So see you next time. Bye.